Hey guys, welcome to the video, and as you can tell, I'm on a bike, that's right. Um, this is the latest addition to the home gym, just so we could do some extra cardio, as we're not actually getting out too much, but this is just a great little addition, and it's what I'm doing now for my summer cut. So I'm doing 20 minutes a day on the bike before I train, um, and today I'm gonna show you and take you through my workout routine. And uh, 25 minutes later, the cardio is done. Just threw on some season seven of the Clone Wars, just thought I finished that up. Um, haven't watched that for a very long time, so interested to see how it ends. But yeah, been doing my cardio before my workouts recently. There's no real benefit. A lot of people will say that it can have a negative impact due to glycogen stores, and you may not perform as well, but if I leave it till after my weights, I'm just not gonna do it. So I do it before. I still, my training sessions are still just as good. I took some pre-workout before, drank that on there, and it's day two of my training cycle, and I'm gonna take you through shoulders and arms. So since the uh, gyms are still closed in England, we're back in the home gym. Got a few new additions, like the 36 kilo dumbbells. Got a T-bar row attachment. I've got some hip thrust plates that are really good for their lifting, and hip thrusting because they're larger than a normal 20. And we've got some extra flooring for deadlifts and everything like that. It's really thick and a carabiner for T-bar rows. But we're about to hit some shoulders and arms. It's day two of my six day a week training cycle. But after the workout, I'll show you what uh, the routine is. So let's get into this workout. We have one more shoulder superset to go, and then we've got arms. Usually, what happens most of the time, as you already know, I would skip arms. I don't train arms properly in about two weeks. So, we're gonna do, uh, so basically a single exercise, one bicep, one tricep, lots of volume, and then a bicep and tricep superset to finish up. But we've got upright rows now, and a banded face balls. So it's a good workout, but home workouts, they just, they hit a little bit differently because in really machines, it really does, you know, take an impact on your body due to all of the uh, compounds you having to do with the bars and dumbbells. Um, I am blessed to have this, but the physical toll it's having on my body, like my central nervous system is a lot more sensitive. My joints are a bit more achy because I'm using a lot more multi-joint movements, like, uh, for example, com uh, squats, deadlifts, every leg session has squats in where I'd normally do it every other session. There's no isolating machines here, which is lifting heavy and uh, ruining your central nervous system. But anyway, let's finish this work. this session done guys only ended up doing two arm exercises instead of four because 
that's what I usually do. And arms are boring, they're my least favorite thing to train. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some food now, I'll show you what I have, and then we'll go in a bit more depth about my routine and why I'm doing it. Just finished cutting up a honeydew melon. We're gonna go enjoy it in the sun. A little post-workout snack. This is honestly the best tasting melon I've ever tried. Are you, are you ready for yours, babe? Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you. Let's go enjoy it in the sun. All right, we enjoyed the honeydew melon on our uh, doorstep right there. Apple furniture, we still haven't got any. But now we're making sandwiches. Oh, we a pickle in mine. Oh my god, yes. I am going to make a turkey, deli turkey meat sandwich with some Hovis lower carb high protein bread. This is actually awesome macros. It has like nine carbs per slice with five grams of protein. I'm going to smash that. Do we All that. Mustard? Yeah, it's right there. I bought oh, some. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. And there we have it, guys. The post-workout meal. Got ourselves some sandwiches oh with some God. pop chips. Macros on the screen. But if you know your calories and you know your macros and the ingredients, you can eat anything you want. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this now and I'll catch up with you later. All right, so we are out of the shower, feeling good, enjoying this amazing weather. Um, so my routine, my home routine, which I've currently been doing at home, well, it's been changing every week, um, but for the last week, I think I've struck gold in the one that I want to do. I'm currently doing a six day split, like I said earlier. It starts with chest and back, then today, which was delts and arms. Then I do legs, then I do uh, push workouts, so chest, shoulders and triceps. Then I do pull, so back and biceps, and then I'll finish again on legs uh, and cardio and abs. But b because it is at home, the training has kind of changed. I've had to lower the volume a lot. Even though that shoulder session was very high volume, that was like, I do high volume on shoulders because you know, you don't really use that heavy weight. But when it comes to legs, I've had to really decrease the amount of exercise that I do because there's no isolating movements like leg extensions or hamstring curls. You're doing big compound lifts all the time, like squats, deadlifts, uh, Romanian deadlifts, split squats. My body is taking an absolute beating every time I'm training legs. So what I've been doing is I've been lowering the volume and doing about four exercises about four to five sets on each uh, exercise during a leg workout. So it'll be like squats, there will be Romanian deadlifts, split squats, and then a banded hamstring curls just to really complete the leg workout. Although the volume is down, you're still getting really good workout. So you won't really need to worry about that. Other things such as like chest and back. Again, there isn't loads of things I can do, although the creativity has got very, very high. I'm doing some really unique exercises and it's, you know, I think it's been really good for my training. It's opened my eyes to a broader uh, selection of exercises, especially, especially when I go back to the gym, I'm going to really keep incorporating these. Um, but other than that, nothing's really changed. Um, I, I did try a new split, which was upper body, lower body, but that absolutely wiped me out, especially with not being able to use any machines and anything like that. And every other day you were doing some sort of compound leg movement. My central nervous system was fried. Um, and I just think you'll never underestimate how handy machines are at the gym for isolating your muscles. Um, we always stick to the compounds, but when every exercise is a compound, it starts wearing down in your body. Uh, but other than that, I'm doing 20 to 30 minutes of cardio a day on the bike, which uh, you saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, it's been really good since I've, we've been quite sedentary uh, when lockdown happened. You know, we didn't actually go on many walks. This bike has been a great addition, although we're upping our walk count. to What is it now, babe? Three steps a day. Three, three steps a day? Yeah. Sounds about right. Um, and we're going for like walks once or twice a week. So yeah, we're getting out and with the lockdown easing, uh, we still have no clear sight when the gyms will open, but the home gym will suffice for now. And you know, I, we will still be training here at least once, twice, maybe even three times a week. Um, it's just great for convenience and if we're short on time. So um, definitely counting it as a plus moving into the future. This is my workout and my advice to you if you do have limited equipment at home is follow a similar routine. 
Um, to that you would do in the gym, uh, you know, if it's a push pull legs, chest and back, upper lower. Uh, you can do upper lower, but I just personally didn't like it. But what I would recommend, especially um, if you haven't got any things to isolate uh, your muscles and bands, they don't always cover it. Uh, just lower the working volume, focus on uh, making each set just a quality set and going close to failure. Applying pro progressive overload and just basically creating as much tension as you can with your muscles and giving them a reason to stay while you're in lockdown and away from the gyms. Although half the gyms now around the world are starting to open, especially in the USA and around Europe. But until then, we're still gonna be training in the gym, in our dining room and having a great time while we're doing it. The summer shred has started. I am trying to lose at least three kilos i'm 93 kilos now i want to get just under 90 to hit that sweet spot and hopefully catch some end of the year holidays summer holidays if we can where are we thinking uh tesco tesco's tesco's <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah but you know i want to be prepared because i'm not gonna lie my eating in quarantine has not been good you know i when i don't have a goal or a time frame sometimes i, I tend to go off a bit track you know I'll, I'll be really good in the morning um, and then we get to the evening although I can balance it out there was a lot of days where I would just wouldn't care you know uh, but now things are coming in I am a lot better on the diet it's been uh, two weeks since we've ordered a pizza so that's that's a plus <laughs> um, so everything's coming good and we're just hoping you know the world goes back to normal soon and that we can start getting some more content and exploring around so it's gonna be great but that is my workout routine and a little vlog for you guys if you do like these videos please let me know subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button and i'll see you in the next video